Hey everyone, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I post to Instagram using a service called Later. You can get a free account, later.com. I'm not affiliated with them. They don't pay me to say this. It's just a service I use. And someone asked me how I was posting my photos to Instagram. Since I work at my desk most often, being able to quickly get my photos out of Lightroom into something like Instagram used to be a challenge. Later is a service that helps out with that and you can schedule posts and do all that kind of stuff. So uh, what have I done so far? I've exported a photo from Lightroom, standard practice, all that kind of stuff, and I've opened up Later. So I've gone to later.com, I've logged in with my credentials, and you see, you've got a basic calendar view here, and I've got a few posts already set to go for next week as I record this. I'm going to add a new photo. I just exported something to my desktop. I'll just grab that and load that in. And that shows up over on the left-hand side in the area of what media you have or haven't used yet to create a post in later. Once the photo is uploaded, then it's just drag and drop onto the calendar. And so for this one, let's have this go out on Monday. And I tend to do my posts early in the morning, so I drop it somewhere between 9.15 and 9.30. And I have a few options here. I can change the crop, I can add comments, hashtags, and I'll show you a nice feature by being able to save and edit captions. It really speeds up my posting workflow. First, I'll visit the crop, and you can choose from a variety, a square, landscape, portrait, if you're looking to do one for uh, you know, to, to match your cell phone size. I tend to use the square crop still. That's, that's, that's my choice. I like that the best. And so I'll just frame this up about there and go ahead and update the crop. And from here, I can add a caption, something about my photo. I'll also put in a whole bunch of individual dots. That's just so the comments and so forth and hashtags get separated from the description. Makes it a little bit uh, cleaner on the interface. That's not required. And then I'll put in various hashtags or you know tag any uh, people that might have been with me and things like that. What really makes this nice is this saved captions option. I'm going to click that open. And you can see I've got a whole bunch of things. You know, I do a lot of work in San Diego if I use some gear. And anything that is in a caption, you can choose to copy current text as saved caption, edit it, and give it a different name. I'm not going to bother with that for this one right now. But that's how you're able to create all of these different pieces. And now when I want to do something, set my cursor there. Uh, I know I used my tripod for this. I know I used my Sony. I was in California. I don't know if I've got a, a Death Valley group in here or not. Doesn't look like I do. So then I can add in a few things. And the later service is tapped into the hashtags that Instagram is using. So it pops up and you can see how many other folks are using the Death Valley tag. And so, you know, 600,000, that's a nice number, right? We can also do the racetrack. Um, I like this one, the desert is beautiful too, and so on and so forth. And you can also use the, uh, the at whomever to go and tag things. Now, later isn't tapped into the individuals, the users of Instagram. I think that used to be there, but the uh, terms of service changed. And later is very good about keeping up with that stuff too. So you don't have to really worry about it too much. Once this is done, I'll go ahead and save it. You can, you can save it to either notify the app that you would have on your mobile device, there's an app to, to manage everything while you're on the go. Or I like to do it as just automatic. And so at 920 on the 4th of June, I'll save that and this will automatically happen. I don't need to touch a thing from this point. It's like scheduling anything else that's going to happen automatically. It goes up, it'll post to Instagram and my phone will buzz and the app on my phone will tell me, hey, I just posted that thing you wanted me to do. You're all set and good to go. So that's how I'm posting my work to Instagram. If you got questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below or send me a message through my website if you prefer to keep it private. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Happy shooting.